Hey guys, in this tutorial, we will allow the user once he pressed on this WhatsApp icon to take him to the chat with this number. So he can WhatsApp chat with this number. Now, if you may notice, before we used a different icon in here because we didn't have the WhatsApp icon and the icons, official icons, the material icons actually, and in here I added a package that allow me to access the WhatsApp icon. Okay, and I explain it in details and the video on the YouTube and the link will be attached. Okay, so just like you download any resource, you can find out the link and press on it and it will take you to the tutorial where I explained in details also. So now let's test it. So once I press on this icon in here, it will take me to the WhatsApp app actually, but it opened up the browser because I don't have a WhatsApp app in here. If I translate it in here, they say don't have WhatsApp yet. Download it now. For sure, I don't want to download it. And in here, the message will be hello. You can change it as what you want. And here's the WhatsApp number that you specify. So now I will show you how. So I will close this and let's go back actually to our app and let's go to my account and now in here let's go to the actually yeah in here we can initialize a method but let's keep it a named method so in here let's initialize a void function called open whatsapp chat like this now, to, in order to do that and implement it, we need to use a, an official package actually. So we need to go to pub.dev and in here search for URL launcher. Oops, this one actually. And go to the first one and it's actually a null safety and official and Flutter favorite. Okay, and develop it by, by the Flutter dev okay so it is being developed by the flutter team and it is very popular as you can see so let's go to the installing now or before that we install it you need to add this into your app for the ios and if you are on android if it didn't work for you add this and the manifest but we don't actually need to add it. But if it didn't work, just make sure to read the, the documentation for it and add it, add everything required to your code. Okay. Okay. Go now to installing, copy this, come back to the pop spec.yaml file and in here paste it and save your file. And once it is finished, now we can start coding. Okay, so in here, almost every method related to this one, and actually we'll use only one method, and it is actually a future, so let's add in here a sync, and in here let's await it, and now we need to access the phone number and the URL. In here we need to use a function called launch, and in here we need to specify a URL which is a string. Now the URL, I will initialize in here a phone number. I will put it equal to any number that we want. And in here, actually, let's initialize the URL so that it will open the WhatsApp chat for this number. So in here, let's say HTTPS, two point slash slash, then WA.me, then slash, then access the phone number. I will keep it like this for now. Then if you want to add a message, you can do it like this, then add text, and then equal to hello world, for example. We can restart it, but I don't prefer it since we install or add a new package to the pubspec.yaml file. It would be better if we cut the process and run the app again. And actually, during this time, we need to access this URL in here. And we need to use this method and the WhatsApp in here. 
Okay, so in here. Oops. Let's search again for WhatsApp. Like this. And let's test it. So let's see. Press on this icon. Nothing is happening because I didn't add it before. Restart the app and try again. It should work now. Here it is. I will translate it and here is the number that I write it in here. It's finished by 454 as you can see in here. Now to call this phone number we can delete this and call type in dollar then call the phone number in here. If you have two words for example for number dot something we can you can put it between curly braces but not in our case we have only one word. So I will close this and I will show you something interesting. So if you want to catch error, you can call a method called can launch, which is also provided by this great package. And in here, check if this URL can be launched, then launch this, call this method. And if it is not, throw an error or show, or show uh, an error for the user. So throw error occurred, for example, and then in here print, for example, error like this. Now let's change this phone number add letters instead and see if an error will happen. So let's go back to my account, press on this, and in here. The error happened in here actually, but this URL is accessible. I will revert the changes and in here, as you can see, the page you are looking for wasn't found. So because I added letters in here, it must be numbers. So we need to be careful for this. If you add plus in here, it should work fine also. Okay. Hit restart or you can just save your app and try it so it should work now yeah here it is it is working and here's our method which is hello world okay here's our method uh, here's our word that we are providing in here okay so in the next tutorial we will implement the mail function you can use another package for this which is for example, if you go back to pub.dev and in here search for mail2, I recommend you to use this package and it is support null safety or you can use a package which is the package I mean that we used in here. Okay, it will be just the same as this one, so I do recommend you to use it. So, see you in the next tutorial.